Unfortunately, due to the extremely online nature of this uh, whole situation, everything has been documented to the point that I feel like if I, you know, try to showcase everything that's happened and all of the associated screenshots and, uh, screenshots and announcements, um, this would take 5 million hours. So I'll, 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 yeah, I'll get right to the point. Um, and the point of it is that uh, Keffels, uh, you know, uh, uh, a friend of the stream, Keffels actually managed to uh, get Cloudfair to drop Kiwi Farms. So basically, there's this site called Kiwi Farms, right? And it's, uh, it's pretty cringe. It's basically just a bunch of uh, 4chan reject neo-Nazi freaks who like doxing people who have some kind of public, you know, platform or another. Um, they tend to go after trans people, not exclusively, but generally. And, uh, yeah, here, wait, let me find the, uh, the actual announcement post. There it is. Wow. Wow. 82,000. People really were here for it, huh? Here's the gist of it. Uh, Kiwi Farms, bad site, full losers. You know, these are, you know, normally, like, with the, um, with the deplatforming Andrew Tate thing, normally you think, like, oh, okay, well, once you get rid of the, the this guy, it's mostly a convenience access thing. The 14-year-olds will find some other place to go. In Kiwi Farms' case, these people are like the, um, the infinitely dense dredges of the internet. They're always going to sink lower, you know? Uh, the real bad folks, you know, you can find evidence of that anywhere. But they were kept up by Cloudflare, which, as you know, is, uh, they, they, they do website hosting, and they protect you from DDoSing as well. And uh, after a big old struggle, um, by which I mean an incredibly long-standing, protracted, effort-filled campaign on the part of Keffels and Associates, um, they got Cloudflare to drop Kiwi Farms. Uh, of course, Cloudflare was protecting Kiwi Farms, uh, so in its absence, uh, they have to move Kiwi Farms to a bunch of other platforms, and it's a whole mess. The specifics of this kind of elude me, because this is all, like, online architecture stuff, uh, which, Christ, I don't even know how my own website stays up. White Nervosa tells me I forget, so I'm not gonna pretend to figuring out, I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to pretend to, you know, all the, all the details. Yeah, no, it's complicated stuff. Look, the, the gist of it is that a good thing happened. Uh, Keffels has been really on the run for the past week or so. Uh, Keffels kept getting doxxed. Uh, there were people threatening to shoot her, bomb her house. So she up and went to Ireland. I don't know why she chose Ireland. She just went there. Uh, people, uh, people started swatting and doxing her there, you know, uh, threatening to bomb the place. Uh, Kiwi Farms people. Uh, started threatening to attack and dox other people who were hosted by Cloudflare, who said they might leave Cloudflare because Cloudflare was, uh, you know, protecting Kiwi Farms. They're they're freaks, you know. The um the Kiwi Farms people are freaks. They have they're incapable of controlling themselves for optical purposes. Even there was there's been this like funny back and forth where like they they want to keep the heat off them. So there are people at Kiwi Farms who are like, let's lay low for a bit, and then thirty seconds later, somebody writes a manifesto on how like they want to do a murder suicide to kill Keffels or something, and that gets screenshot and for like no control, like just they're animals, they're subhuman, um, absolute uh, absolute goobers. When the when the Cloudflare, yeah, when Cloudflare took off Kiwi Farms, when when they cut, they also apparently they cut down service to another neo Nazi site because Kiwi Farms got a lot of neo Nazis. So it turns out that they were they were actually like hosting two sites. One of them was a Nazi site. Uh, yeah, here it is, an anonymous member of the white supremacist Action Zelandia. God, it's always so larpy. Organization discussed purchasing firearms from the black market and create terror cells in New Zealand. Cloudflare blocking service to fascist website relevant to Ontario. Joshua Action Zelandia, whose website is also down. Yeah, so they're all it's they're all Nazis, you know, whatever. Before anyone makes this like a free speech argument or whatever, Cloudflare has historically dropped a lot of people off their service. Um, it seems like the people who own Cloudflare are, let's say, not of the greatest progressive disposition, you know? So um so, you know, like I think they they've dropped like sex workers or like progressive they they've they've dropped plenty of people before, you know, but they were protecting Kiwi Farms for a good long time. They seem to not want to drop the uh, the Nazis. Um, so anyway, the Kiwi Farms people are real mad. There's like a million, billion, trillion coat posts that are all over the place. You can find them if you want uh, to read all of them and to go through all of them and to showcase their psychotic behavior would take an obscenely long time. 
Uh, and also it'd get really repetitive because these people all kind of gravitate towards the same style of deranged online schizo posting. Read one. Keffels goes to Ireland. This dumb tea slurk. I'm planning to fly to Ireland. Is Keffels still there? I seriously want to shoot that dumb bitch. I will plant bombs around the place therein as well. Someone give me the address. Apparently, um, Keffels said that she was going to go to like a, it was like a biscuit place or something. So there were people on Kiwi Farms who called like every biscuit place in the city in Ireland she was in or something. Like just truly, it's a completely psychotic, just it's, uh, the whole poutine. Okay, poutine, see, you all know the story. You all know, you all know the story. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Or yeah, somebody offhandedly mentioned it, so like every poutine place gets the call. They were gonna put bombs in every poutine place, you know? The poutine terrorists, yada yada. Uh, what other things of note? Oh, a couple pointers. First of all, um, in raising 200,000 people, uh, dollars for trans people, and then like getting Cloudflare to drop Kiwi Farms, Keffels has permanently and irrevocably uh, 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 beat the charges that she's just a ratio-obsessed Twitter user. Not that it would even be an issue if she was just a ratio-obsessed Twitter user, mind you. There's nothing wrong with being a ratio-obsessed Twitter user. She has truly elevated her status, getting shout-outs from the ADL, from mainstream news broadcasters. I mean, a lot of people have been talking about this. They've got mainstream news articles, multiple articles written on the subject. It's just been a whole goddamn thing. If you want to keep, you know, if you want to know all the highlights, you can go to Keffel's uh, Twitter because she retweets, you know, the uh, the, uh, the spiciest stuff. Um, the uh, the times.co.uk, you know. Um, oh, there's Destiny, a uh, friend of Kiwi Farms. You know, he's been sort of on their side through this. Taylor Lorenz has been pretty active throughout. Here's any, because, you know, a lot of the people who... Hey, hey, I'll say, a lot of the people who... Um, who uh, have helped Keffels are with White Nervosa, and those people with White Nervosa are right here. To be fair to Destiny, he said Kiwi Farms was bad. He said Kiwi Farms and Keffels were like equally bad, like they were made for each other. That's like, no. And, uh, so I've said this before, right? If you like equivocate, you know, like uh, fascists and anti fascists, you're actually just defending fascists. It's, we've done this before. Common zero IQ behavior from him. Uh, expected at this point. Uh, he even talked about funding Kiwi Farms at some point. Though, of course, he said it in a way uh, where it could be, you know, plausibly a joke. Because he does, like, the Sam Hyde, like, haha, I'm, am I actually a reactionary, but what if, question mark, question mark type stuff, you know. Anyway, low IQ behavior aside, the Keffel stuff, great stuff. We're all very proud of Keffels. We support Keffels. Wigglers rise up, etc., etc. Um... Uh, a couple more pointers. Uh, first of all, Kiwi Farms is still going to be around for a while because you can't really get rid, rid of a website, right? Like, you can always just take the website and you can move it to another service or platform or server or whatever. Um, you, you can still do that. Now, obviously, uh, depending on the service that the website is being hosted on, uh, it might be slower. It might be more difficult to access. And it might not be as um, uh, shielded against DDoSs. See, a lot of people don't like Kiwi Farms, you know? Cloudflare makes your site more or less invulnerable to DDoSs. Um, not Cloudflare tends not to. Uh, you know, again, I don't pretend to understand the specifics. Uh, I did see there was a big co-post from the guy who runs Kiwi Farms who uh, seemed extremely upset that they were losing the optics battle uh vis-a-vis -vis, like keffels and having to move over their their server to russia oh here we go this is not i don't think this is the founder of kiwi farms this is some other person but it's a nice post you know yell at me this is power leveling i just had a friend they're a bit of a personal cow for me but on online really tell me how disappointed she was in me for being in a community that is quote chasing a trans person around the world end quote this is deeply embarrassing right off the bat you know I've got a female friend who's telling me she was disappointed in me for... Yeah, okay. I tried to explain they made $100,000 and are on vacation and are a pedo. It's like, it's, it's when you're always online, when you've never touched grass and you're trying to disjointedly explain why your, like, autistic obsession, your A-logging over someone you don't like is legitimate, you know? Um, it'd be... Yeah, okay, yeah. They, they've written off everything we have as fake. Whenever I try to show them something, they ignore it as lies. This dude's scam, they mean Keffels, 
is actually working against dog-brained white women. I cannot figure out why or how to make them see reason, if that's even possible slash worth my time. I thought people were getting tired of the Troon menace. Troon means... Wait, I shouldn't have said that. Troon means... to. This T-slur means another T-slur. Okay, shut up. But the mindless drones of the world still listen and believe. I worry this will go the same way as Gamergate and Lucas, that's Keffels, a.k.a. Clara, will be viewed as a hero. The speaker of universities and interviews about this for the next 10 years. This will be the new griff just living in the moment. Um, if, there's like a, if there's like an overriding tone to this post, can we agree it's copium? I'm so... I'm I'm just I'm I'm in ruins. I'm trying to explain to my IRL friends, but they won't listen to me. I'm just I'm torn apart. I'm torn apart by the fact that people don't think we're the good guys in our long-standing campaign to harass and kill trans activists online. I thought I thought they would welcome us as heroes. <laughs> All right, okay. Seriously, there are like dozens of really funny co-posts like that. If you just go to like Twitter, uh, Keffel's Twitter or whatever, they're they're all over the place. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, revel in the in the in the the goofy. You know, for too long. So anyway, I don't know what the future is for Kiwi Farms or Keffels or whatever. Um, but I think she's done a real good thing. You know, uh, the whole purpose of sites like Kiwi Farms is to terrorize people into shutting the fuck up. That's the whole point. You know, like uh, generally speaking, when people, uh, anybody, you know, not just like internet people, you know, anyone. When they realize there's communities of hundreds of people that are fastidiously tracking their address, doing swatting attempts, trying to send bomb threats, death threats, posting pictures of their house, you know, um, when you see stuff like that, uh, you know, most people stop doing what they're doing. They shut down. It's a chilling effect. That's their goal, to terrorize people. Uh, Keffel's persisted through all of that, demonstrating more bravery than all of her critics combined. Um, went right on ahead and, uh, you know, uh, kept at it anyhow. Damn good. This was posted uh, right after Keffels went over to uh, Ireland. Apparently, uh, they found out the hotel that she was at, and somebody across the street took a picture of this deranged note looking at the hotel that Keffels was at at the time. You know, like, right outside. Could have been through the windows. Um... Loyalists against Tiesler, Lucas Roberts, that's Clara, that's getting Keffels. Out of our community, Kiwi Farms, all Ruins, Uister Kiwi Farms, for, I don't know. First Need, Hail Josh the Corn Lord, Ethan Gunt Ralph told me to do this. So, as we can see, uh, in between these two individuals, clearly it's the, uh, the trans woman who's mentally ill, you know. Literally just schizo posting? No, it literally is. Like, they're, they're genuine, it's actual, okay. I know I say this a lot, but like actually mentally ill schizo posting, like properly deranged, should be an institution. I mean that completely sincerely without a hint of irony. For a lot of those people, a danger to themselves and society. And trust me, if any eye was kept on the uh, Kiwi Farms community, you'd see a higher suicide rate there than any trans people they bully. Because those people are not well. No, 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 no. As evidenced by literally any time they say anything anywhere. Not well. So, on a, on a lighter note, outside of uh, Keffel's victory, and by the way, for me, you know, Kiwi Farms will continue to exist in some form or another. The big victory here is all the media attention being brought to this issue. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, the most attention that has ever been brought uh, to uh, Kiwi... F in fact, wait, hold on. Google Trends. Uh, it's certainly up there. I go to Kiwi Farms. Uh, okay, 2004 to present. Yeah! Ain't no joke, folks. Jack? A lot of attention being brought uh, to uh, Kiwi Farms. And, you know, very critical attention. Uh, media pointing out the harassment, you know? And the precedent of getting Cloudflare to drop a site like that establishes a, um, well, it establishes a precedent, you know? It establishes the power and prestige and cultural capital of uh, trans and pro-trans people. That's meaningful. The first spike is when Nier killed themselves because of Kiwi Farms. Yeah, they like to bully people to suicide. Um, it's a whole thing.
Now, on a slightly lighter note, uh, outside of the, um, the Kiwi Farms thing specifically, I have to throw this in because it's too funny, you know. A bunch of people, and by a bunch I mean like a moderate collection of internet lefties on Twitter, uh, are accusing Keffels of being, um, of being racist. This is, the, this is the post we're all looking at today. Just beforehand, let's look at the avatar of this person. Because uh, you can sort of interpret, you know, insufferability. Okay, so now that Cloudflare has dropped Kiwi Farms, can we stop ignoring the fact that Kiffles is racist? Because I remember a lot of folks saying that we should just leave it alone until the bad side is dealt with, so surely now we can acknowledge she's a racist and disown her, yeah? Uh, the racism that they're referring to here is, um, I believe, I believe one time a white person made a book about dumpling recipes, and they were cancelled for it, and Keffels responded by saying that she likes noodles. I think that's the racism. Oh yeah, also one time she put the Italian flag in the progressive flag. Here. Nobody has proof of Keffels being racist. Me. Remember that time Keffels mocked the Progress Pride flag, a version of the LGBTQIA plus pride flag, designed to be inclusive of black and, black and brown queer people. This is about Keffels' history of racism. And again, you can see the crime the crime being done here. Uh, Vashi did that too. Yeah, I feel like these people would also accuse me of being racist. Just a guess that I have. Yeah, here we go. Literally. Why did a white woman write a cookbook about dumpl dumplings and noodles? Because dumplings and noodles are tasty. In response to this post from Keffels, Keffels routinely harms by POC folk. Be it her condescending and dismissive comment to a Filipino woman questioning why a white author wrote a cookbook for Asian cuisine, frequently sending her followers to dogpile black trans women, this hasn't happened, or mocking a bi POC inclusive pride flag. It's all like this. Here's a clip from a TED talk on microaggression to respond to the question how is it racist for Keffels to say noodles and dumplings are tasty? <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Whitey here putting in work. Holy shit. From a person who blocked me, obviously. Um, which, to be fair, uh, yeah. These people are so sensitive to racism that if they watch three seconds of my stream, their eyebrows would burn off. Oh my god, this really never ends. Um, I, the reason I'm scrolling down... <laughs> and ultimately, if you can't understand the, the racism implicit in the noodles thing, we can't really have a productive discussion here. After, <laughs> in conclusion, on the noodles question, we... <laughs> truly, truly deranged. Absolutely psychotic. Um, these people are all pro-Kiwi farms. They're ideologically aligned. Any vulture that would pick at Keffels over something like this... Uh, at a time like this is implicitly pro Kiwi Farms. Uh, and it is a testament to how bad Kiwi Farms is that not even for a joke will I say that these are the people they should have been harassing. Not that they would harass these people, because Kiwi Farms finds these people convenient bull cows, because they tear apart at the targets they already have. Does this ever end? I just wanted to find that one response from this dipshit. Um, where she said, like, she didn't have any evidence. But she's seen enough black trans women say it that she believes it. Ah, I don't know if I'd be able to find it. Ah, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, here's a thread from Shark. I wanted to find out why people said Keffels was racist. This is all I could find when asking for proof and I'm gonna vomit. I'm begging no pleading with white leftists not to listen to the dumbest person in the room just because they're the darkest. True. 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 That's the, this is the bedrock of my leftist advocacy. It's that um, black people can also be retarded, not just white people. But I learned that from Shark. Thank you, Shark. Actually, though, actually, though, yeah. Radical thought. Here's me contributing. Took all my self-control not to um not to make fun of all of the hypersensitive baby gay 
uh, cancel culture, woke scold types um, directly. You know, I didn't want them to block me because I like looking at it. <laughs> uh, look, for real though, Keffels did a real good thing, and uh, I think it's cool, and uh, I am uh, I'm happy to uh to be part of a community that has a positive disposition towards her and uh in an online leftist space where i have found very few reasonable people you know plenty of people who i agree with but very few reasonable people um Keffels has always been a reliably reasonable person to talk to uh and i uh and i, I you know i i respect the uh the bravery and work she's put in really nice go team Wigglers unite. Yeah, you can tell because my fucking camera's wiggling as well. Uh, nice. Go team. That's good. Uh, see? They found this stream as well. Keffels sells HRT to minors in Discord, all caps grooming. Keffel sold drugs to minors, posted on her Twitter. On her Twitter? Damn. Is there any proof of that? That's crazy. I think what they're referring to is that Keffels is supportive of um, young transes doing DIY hormones or something. I don't know. The Kiwi Farms types will do or say anything to delude themselves into believing that they're the good guys, you know? Like, they're literally, like, being, like doing domestic terrorism, like, threatening uh, murder bomb threats, like, doxing, like, their, their, their posts are filled litany with slurs. Here's the, um, here's the critical thing. Here's something you can do. You can always, you know... You can cut to the meat of it real quick, okay? If somebody claims to have a real reason for their hatred of a minority that isn't bigotry, they should be able to express that reason without also expressing bigotry. It's like when the white supremacists are like, um, we're not racist, we just think that the races work best when they're not intermixed. And then you go to their forums and it's full of the N-word. It's like, okay, all right, yeah, we, we, we know you're pretending, you know, you're just racist. Same with the trans thing. They're like, ah, oh, grooming, HRT, demonic. But like, no. You go to any of the shit they say or post, you know, they just hate trans people. Yeah, they want to be anti-heroes. They all imagine themselves to be like uh, Batman or whatever. Like, yeah, we're edgy and yeah, people, uh, pe we, our methods may be dark, but we're doing like the good thing. No, you're not. You're just schizo posting. Oh yeah, this is the post that I was looking for. God, it's so good. Not gonna lie, it's all been out there a while. I'm not here to post receipts. You can go digging for yourself if you really want, but at this point, too many black trans women have called her out for a racist behavior for it to be an argument. Phenomenal stuff. Truly, truly phenomenal.